Numerical Computation, Chapter 9, Video 3. We now take some examples for Taylor Series method. Our first example, we will set up Taylor Series method with m equals to 1 and 2 for the following problem. x prime equals to negative x plus e to the negative t. Initial condition, x at 0 equals to 0. One can verify that the exact solution for this initial value problem is t times e to the negative t. You can verify it by plugging to the equation and plugging to the initial condition to see that they are both satisfied. Okay, so we will set the initial data for the iteration um, by setting t0 equals to 0, x0 equals to 0. So for m equals to 1, we'll have the Euler's method. So x at k plus 1 will be xk plus h times the x prime evaluated at tk, which will be this function here, but put k on every index, so it's xk e to the negative tk. And if you would like, you could um, simplify, combine these two xk terms. You don't have to, but if you want, you can write it like this. So for m equals to 2, we know we need to get hold on the second derivative. So let's do that first. So x double prime will be x prime, which is provided here, x prime prime. One more time. So differentiating this expression, giving us negative x prime minus e to the negative t. And we know the x, x prime is already given here, so we plug that in, I'll get x minus e to the negative t and minus e to the negative t. You can combine it to get x minus 2 e to the negative t. So plugging these information back into the Taylor series method, we see writing out the method, we get xk plus 1 is xk plus h xk prime plus 0 0.5 half, that's h square xk double prime. So all you need to do is plug in this expression for xk prime and uh, this expression for xk double prime and put index k overall. So I'll get xk plus h, this becomes negative xk, e to the negative tk, that's the same as the Euler's method, and then here you put in the x second derivative here, so you get xk and 2 times e to the negative tk. And if you want, you can clean up a little bit and combining the terms with xk together and collect the coefficients and take the terms with the exponential function and collect the coefficients. So let's say I um, implemented this method in MATLAB to solve this problem and choosing h equals to 0 0.1 and solving from 0 to 3. So here is the plot that I obtained. I plotted three things on this graph. Um, the um, blue curve, the solid curve, that's the exact solution. And the red circles that is the solution obtained by Euler's method. So remember, for the numerical solution, we only get approximate values to the solution at discrete points, namely at our grid points. Okay, And then um, the little crosses in kind of a cyan um, turquoise color, that is the solution with the second order Taylor series method. And we'll see that the second order method gives a much better approximation here. So for our second example, we will um, solve by Taylor series method with m equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 for the following um, rather simple problem, that is x prime equals to x and x0 is 1. And one can verify that um, the exact solution is e to the t because that's a function if you differentiate you get it back okay so on initiating set t0 is 1 x0 is 1 from the initial data and we also note that um, 
since x prime equals to x, and then x double prime will be will become x prime prime, which gives me x prime, which gives me x. And so x triple prime will give me x as well, because each time you, you differentiate, you get it back. Which means no matter how many times I differentiate my x, I should get my x back. Then Taylor series method of order m for this problem becomes simple because all the derivatives will be just xk. So I will have xk plus 1 equals to xk plus h times x prime, which is exactly xk, plus h square half times x double prime, which is just xk. You can just replace all the derivatives of x with xk and you add up all the way to h to the power m times xk, that's x to the mth derivative, divided by m factorial. Okay, so now it's simple to write out if m equals to 1, I will just take two terms here, I write it out, and I can take out the common factor xk, I have 1 plus h. For m equals to 2, I would take three terms here, which I wrote out here. Taking out xk, I get this. And for m equals to 3, I would take three terms, or four terms, because m is m plus 1 terms. And taking out xk, I will get this. And for m equals to 4, I will get five terms. And uh, you take out xk, you can collect all the terms with h um, in the bracket in front of this xk. Well, actually, you can take many more terms. Each time you take a bigger m, you just have to add one more term. Okay, so here is the numerical simulation result um, for this method with uh, four different um, m values. And here we plot it together with the exact solution. So the exact solution is the red curve and uh, the blue circles are the first order method and the star is the second order method and the plus is the third order method and the cross is the fourth order method. We see that except for the first order method all the other methods are very very close to the exact solution and it's a bit hard to see by eyes which one is giving a better approximation. One would need to actually plot the arrow out on its own to see that. Okay so hope um, you enjoyed it and see you next time.